Connor, two goals tonight. You must be a happy man. Yeah, delighted. It's a great feeling, obviously, getting the score sheet, um, especially so early on as well. It just kind of sets the tone and whets your appetite a bit for the way the game is going to open up because these sort of games can be tricky. You're always saying in the dressing room, can we get an early goal? Can we, you know, put them on the back foot early on, make them defend? And um, I thought we did. And you know, credit to uh, Lenitko, they they played well. I thought it was a really good cup tie. There was some really good tackles out there. Played the right way. Uh, at one point, I think the ball got burst as well, which is a sign of you know a few decent tackles. But um, yeah, delighted to get on the score sheet. Delighted with the way the lads played. Um, we knew it was going to be a tough, tough test. People are all sort of looking to see if there can be an upset, and you know we were fully aware of that. Um, but no, delighted with the way we've played. I thought we were quite solid um, and looked in control um, for for most of the game. You mentioned there, kind of people potentially looking for a bit of an upset. To what extent then does that early goal just kind of settle any nerves? I think it's huge. Yeah, you know you can see them sort of go down a little bit or their heads sort of drop because that's the last thing they want to do. They want to keep a game tight for as long as they can and they had some some uh, long throw-ins as well so they're probably always looking at that. And in fairness, when it was 2-1 um, in the second half there, they, they've always got a chance there with the with the with you know the set pieces that they've got, the long throw that they've got. So I think that third goal when it went in, it really sort of knocks the, knocks the, the life out of them a little bit. Um, but no, it was, a, it was a tricky game for us, but delighted and lots of positives for us to take from that, scoring four goals um, and just ultimately getting the win and, and getting into the next round of the Cup. What was your thoughts on the new formation tonight? I thought it worked really well for us. I thought it worked well for us. I thought we looked really, really solid um, with the three lads back there, obviously, and Gaz, you've got protection. I thought the two wide lads, particularly Dickers, seemed to get so much uh, time in uh, in the first half particularly thought he played brilliant real threat for for us um and great for us as a striker myself and decky where you've got crosses coming in constantly i'd love to know the number there must have been about 15 or 20 crosses in the box tonight which is what us strikers sort of feed off and um at times it can be a bit ugly with you know they've won a, a header but it drops to you for my i think my second goal was a bit like that, a bit scrappy, but it all comes from a ball going in the box and making them defend. So, yeah, delighted with that. The formation I thought worked well, and um, yeah, some lads that hadn't played for a while have come in. Uh, Lewis Toshney I thought was brilliant, and uh, fitness-wise as well. Um, so, yeah, loads of positives to take. Um, yeah, just delighted to, to get into the next round. Was it your shot as well? It was spilled for Paul Dixon. It was, yeah, on his birthday as well, which is lovely for him. Um, you know, Dick is a good lad, he's uh, he's always a willing runner and I think at that wing back role a bit more he's got a bit more attack and licence to get forward and he's just gambled on uh, the keeper spilling it and credit to him um for, for finishing as well. So delighted to see him cap his birthday in style with a with a goal and a nice bottle of champagne for him as well. Lenithgow, to their credit, you know, got back on level terms, but respectfully I thought once we got that second goal we never really looked back. Is that a fair comment or not? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Um, I thought we we were frustrated, obviously, with the way we've conceded our goal. Um, set pieces, we, we know coming into the game, that's going to that's be a huge part for, for them. Um, but yeah, we've reacted the right way. We've um, got the second goal and looked to control things and um, we could have got a few more. But credit to the lads for keeping going and, you know, keep defending and doing the ugly side of it as well because they were putting a lot of um, set pieces in, throw-ins, free kicks. Um, so, yeah, credit to the lads. Um, but just delighted to to get that result and ultimately get a few goals as well. In terms of things off the pitch for a second, <clears throat> what's the mood been like in the, you know, in the camp this week with obviously the managerial change? Yeah, it's never nice, obviously, when... when um, the manager loses his job like that and you know we as players you know we we take obviously a huge responsibility for that as well we haven't performed uh, we haven't been getting the results that we know we 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 are capable of so it's frustrating from that point of view to see obviously Ray and Darren lose their jobs but ultimately we know that that's the way football is and I've been in it long enough to know that ultimately that's the way it goes if your results aren't going going um, the right way so we as a group were 
We're keen to, to put it right. We know there's been a lot of frustration with the way the results have been going. and um, <clears throat> But no, it's <clears throat> with an, a fresh lease of life with the two lads coming in. Everyone's keen to impress. Everyone's got a sort of a fresh, clean slate going forward. And I think that can only be a good thing. The two lads have got serious passion and, and desire to do well. I'm sure they will want the job full time. And with results like tonight, um, it'll only help the cause as well. Well, we'll see what happens. Conor, congratulations on two goals tonight. And as always, that's your time. Nice one. Thank you. Magic.